Hello everyone, so this is obviously a very different video to anything that I've ever done before, but I wanted to share with you what I've been doing for the past three days. She's still, you're still here, which is good. How are you darling? All right, <laughs> say it again. So we wanted to share with you the experience basically and how we brought our little one into the world because um, our son has been born, Thumper. I'm trying not to cry because I actually did cry once, twice, I cried a lot, <laughs> didn't I? Yes, he did. And Tim's not a crier, so um, yeah, just no, goes to show how emotional not. the situation is. So the last time we saw you, you was on your due date. Yeah, it Which was, was the 3rd of Jan. It was. Um, and basically we um, were waiting and uh, nothing was happening. So we literally went to the hospital to get uh, to get booked in to be induced. And that was going to be on the Sunday night. And then your waters broke on the Saturday night. No, they broke on the Friday night. Anyway. It's so confusing. So anyway, this is how it all started. 25 to 2. Which Gabby's, we knew would happen. Gabby's waters broke at quarter past 12. We'd just gone to bed and we were like... I was asleep. We knew this was going to happen as soon as we closed our eyes, didn't we? Yeah. It was going to happen. Well, I tempted fate because I said basically we were going to get induced on Sunday. It's now early hours of Saturday morning. And I said to you just before we went to bed, no, this is not coming till you get induced. And then that could be 24 to 48 hours after. But here we are, baby's heartbeat being measured. That's the machine that does the whole contraction thing. And... This is the contractions here. But you don't have any contractions yet, do you? No, I'm not in any pain, but... And you've got a cup of tea. Gone. And you've done your nails. You've, do, you've got nails. Yeah. Baby nails. I've got, got my nails done, but didn't get my eyebrows done. Fine. And this is the room that we're in. I think there's, there's nice little touches look, like like that, which is quite nice. Yeah. And they've, Maybe with Daddy. Yeah, but isn't that interesting? They've got no photos with, with Mum. They only need those little things there. I think it's because they're trying to encourage it for men. Yeah, I think that's and I think quite it's nice. it's quite nice because... All the way through the pregnancy, the men have like drew the short straw, like with the scans, they have to wait outside in the cold and stuff like that. So it's quite nice that when you get to this point, they do try and involve the dad a little bit more. I think it's yeah. really nice. I'm scared. They involve me because I've got myself a cup of tea, which is. And you've got yeah. a cup of tea. But I am scared. When my waters went, I was scared. And the thing is, is we were saying how big the bump was, and now there's like the bump has shrunk a little bit. Strange. Yeah, the water's almost like a water bomb has gone off, and like it's just baby now, and there's no water, so it's gone right down. It's so bizarre. But we knew that when the waters went, if they were going to go, it was going to happen early hours in the morning when we were looking rough. Yeah, we knew <laughs> it would. It'd be that classic kind of baby thing where that's why I'm not putting the camera on me. You look good. I, really? however, do not I look rough. I mean, look, I'm wearing these... Why don't you tell them how these... stubborn Holly was? Oh, yeah, having a teenager, trying to get her out. No, she'd rather go to sleep. So we're back home. Thanks. Why are we back home? <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't had contractions yet. So we like, have had contractions. Well, tightenings. Um so the hospital have said we can either um come home or stay in. It's up to us. So we've decided to come home to have a bit more comfort really. So the wait continues. The wait continues. So a few hours have gone by and we need to kill a little bit of time. And obviously our favourite pastime <laughs> is McDonald's. While we wait, we tuck into McDonald's finest. But we're missing one thing, we forgot to order. Uh, I'll get some cheese and melts. Some cheese melts. Please tell me I'm not the only person that does this with their chips. Are we the only people that are in labour practically that are having I'm a sure McDonald's? We're not the only people that saves their receipts, put a code on there and you get a discount big Mac. <laughs> which we do as well. Cheers. Now people might be asking, why did you go to McDonald's when you're like in labour? The thing is, is, 
Well, why not? Gabby's the, <laughs> the hospital said, look, your waters are broken. You're not having any contractions. There's nothing we can do at the moment. So you've kind of just got to go home, do do whatever, go for walks so you can bring labour on. And they said, obviously, if nothing has happened, come back to us tonight at uh, eight o'clock, at eight o'clock, which is uh, what we did. So I'm whispering because there are other people in this ward. So they've put me on a ward um, and they've given me a bed. So I've picked the one by the window. This is a bit more of a view. We're waiting for them to get me started and um Because it hasn't started naturally, is it? No. Just some tightening but nothing major. Yeah. So um yeah, it's a bit of a waiting game, isn't it? Still waiting, 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 waiting. But um at least I have a bed. I can go to sleep. And that's that's my bed. It's very luxurious. <laughs> yeah. I'm just doing a video. Oh. <laughs> We're getting used to these machines, aren't we? Yes, very much so. How many times have we been hooked up to one of these now? Five times, maybe. Wow. If not more. Yeah. Tell everyone what it is, what it does. So, um, this is baby's heartbeat. This is contractions, I believe, isn't it? So when that raises, it means you're having a contraction. It's um, pretty low. I'm not having a contraction. We, what we're looking for is where this question mark is here. We're looking for a little green tick, which means the machine is happy with baby's progress. And then we can move on to the next thing, which is a vaginal examination. <coughs> I ain't going to film that, though. Please don't. <laughs> So after that was filmed, um, I was supposed to leave Gabby in the hospital, wasn't I, for yeah. um, a pill that you had to take that would help bring on labour. Do you know what the pill was called? Pessary? I have no idea what it is, but basically it's supposed to help labour. And we thought that, well, actually she could be taking this pill for six hours and then have to take it for another six hours. So they said, look, why don't you go home yeah, and have the, a sleep? Yeah, we I was going to go on a drip, weren't I, as Yes, well. that was a hormone yeah. drip to get, it, to get it going. So the pessary, and then I was going to go on a hormone drip. So they said, go home. I went home. I was home no longer than about 25 minutes, just got my head down, and then I had that call. And I'd literally just been asleep for about five minutes, and I had that call. And well, I spoke to you on the phone, didn't I, before yes, you got you the call? And I said to you... I'm having contractions, <laughs> didn't I? And I was like, can't be, it can't be happening. Because it's like, it's taken so long to happen. We just thought it's never going to happen. And, you know, uh, water's broke and it was 24, 48 hours and we still haven't, you know. And so we were like, this is just not happening. So obviously when I got that call from the midwife said, Gabby's going into labour, she's doing it very quickly, you need to get here now. And I was like, uh, 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 and I just <laughs> was asleep for like five minutes and I was just like, I was going on, never got to the hospital so quick in my life. I obviously went in there and you were, you were amazing to begin with. She just sent the gas in there. She was all right. She was fine. Didn't um, feel it. <laughs> and I remember the nurses saying that, um, I said, how long can she be like this for? And they said, well, you know, that could be six hours, could be 24 hours, could be days. And I was like, oh, great. And then three hours later, after a pretty horrendous birth for you, darling. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, by the time Tim came back to the hospital, I was halfway to give him birth. And um, it wasn't that long before we were ready to push. Probably yeah. about, what, an hour, if that. Not even that. Three hours in total. And even as you were going into that, they were like, oh, okay, it's not coming yet. Oh, all of a sudden, it was coming. And then he was here. Three hours from the pessary, basically. And here is Stumper. Oh, bless him. He's had quite the morning. What time was he born? Um, I can't remember. I've lost all About five, track, five past so. three, I think. Yes, the centre was 3.07, so it must have been 3.05. He must be hungry because his tongue's going in and out. <laughs> oh, I had my thumb off. I thought that would keep you going. Stop sucking your thumb. There's an old hand in there. Gabby's just enjoying some toast. I'll burn it. The camera doesn't do it justice, but he is so dinky. Gabby's recovering well. So how do you feel, Gabby? Alright. I didn't. 
<laughs> it's a bit of a traumatic uh, lady, isn't it? Yeah. There he is. That was it. And there is our little son, which sounds weird to say. It's just, I still can't get used to it. I always knew I was going to have a boy. You know, we kept talking about, is it a girl or a boy? And, you know, everyone goes, oh, it's going to be a boy. Oh, it's going to be a girl. For all those people that said, it's, it's going to be a boy. It's going to be a boy. You were right. <laughs> For those people that said you were a girl, obviously you were wrong. You were wrong. You said before. And people <laughs> may be asking, what about Smidge? We've got a cat. And as you know, um, Smidge found it very interesting, a baby coming into the house. For the first few days... He was not interested at all. He was so scared and his like, hairs were back on end. But now, yeah. every so often, he goes into... Look at this. He goes into the living room and he stares at Thumper. And I think that it will be probably a couple of days and um, soon he'll be perfectly fine. Casper George William Linden, weighing £7.9, born at 3.05 on the 9th of January. The witching hour. If you like the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe. And I'll see you for non baby talking videos. Walking videos. Um, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> <laughs>